having a little glass of the apple elderberry seen in uh, one of the other videos. This is a spiced apple, so cinnamon, elderberry, and a red apple. Uh, it's not terrible, but I mean, I've made better. Now, I know I say in all my videos not to use cocktail or punches. Today we're using blueberry cocktail. <laughs> it's funny. It's so funny. <laughs> Way to stay professional. Sorry. This is kind of shit I got to put up with. <laughs> so, um, basically, after the pomegranate wine came out, my wife really liked it. You liked it, right, honey? Mm hmm And um, she said something about blueberry and... So I found like some blueberry juice, but it was like this little fucking jar like this, and it was like four bucks. So when I saw this blueberry cocktail on sale, I grabbed it up. Uh, as mentioned in another video, filtered water, sugar, then recons reconstituted blueberry juice. There's also grape juice and apple juice. So it's quite a cocktail. So it's not going to be a super, super strong blueberry flavor, but I plan on carbonating this, so it'll be more like a light blueberry cooler. Um, than a wine. We are using the Borgevin RC212 red wine yeast uh, to try and keep as much of that blueberry flavor as possible. A uh, big note about carbonation is that it can make or break uh, a, a beverage because the CO2 or carbonation actually adds quite a bit of bitterness. Just think about having a, like a Coke and then drinking a flat Coke, how different it tastes. So you can kind of uh, kind of hide imperfections with some carbonation or in this case you know just get away with sort of a lighter flavor because it's not 100% blueberry juice so we've added in our yeast and our nutrient got a little swirl get our airlock on there so again I don't usually like to use cocktails but in this case, it's what was there, and we're going to make it work. <laughs> 